This is going to go over position to try and mobilize the ankle. Um, one thing that we tend not to think about as much is the way the lower leg impacts what we feel in our ankle, right? So I'm going to be in a position like I am down on one knee, and I'm going to take my hand inside my lower leg, and I'm going to come right down with this type of grip right over top of the bone on the top of my foot, my talus, and I'm going to try and hold my foot in place. And I want to see if I can keep my foot still. And if you watch my front knee, I'm going to take my knee out to the side. So what I find in a lot of individuals is this connection between their lower leg and their foot is tight. So when they try and bring their knee out, their foot just wants to rock up because they don't have this mobility to keep their foot planted and take their leg out to the side. So what happens is that if I can't take my foot out, maybe if I get to here and I'm trying to engage my glute, well, the only way that I can bring my knee into the straight position is rocking out, which puts a lot of pressure on my lateral foot. So I want to come down right over top. Some people, I may even have them come with two hands if they need to, but usually one with a locked elbow pushing straight down does the trick. And I want to push down pretty firmly as I come out and come in. Really trying to stop the inside of my foot from coming off the ground. I can go this way. I can try like this, but for the most part, I feel like this does a better job. Really trying to go in and out of this light rocking of the knee. I'm going to feel this pull up through my hip quite a bit. I want to try and avoid feeling much of anything as far as pain in my groin. You're not going to feel much in your ankle, but you're really trying to do whatever you can to hold this foot down as your lower leg rocks in and out. 